Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I've got a dupe video. Except for the dupes are like the same price. But I wanted to do this comparison and I'm gonna actually apply it for you, show you how they look side by side. But I wanted to do this comparison because I recently reviewed the Tarte Shape Tape and I haven't really done a video about this Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream. Concealer? Wait, I said that too many times. Anyway, I haven't really done a video about it and I kind of realized as I played with both of these more and more separately that they're totally the same product. But I think I figured out which one I like more. But there, there's a $2 difference, so let's kind of break this down. And if you're just wanting to see the demo of these two side by side, I'll put the timestamp here on the screen and a clickable timestamp down below if you just want to watch the demo. But um, let's talk about these products first. So the Shape Tape is only sold at Ulta and I'm sure like on Tarte's website, but it's $24. Whereas the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream is $26. So it's a difference of $2. I bought my Kat Von D one at Sephora. The Tarte one has 14 different shades. The Kat Von D one has like, what is it, 21 shades if I counted that right. So there's definitely a bigger range in the Kat Von D line, although it is $2 more. And they also have um, a completely white one. So if you needed white or you wanted to mix it to lighten something, I think that's cool. I don't own that one yet, but I just think it's kind of cool that they offer that. I do think the Tarte packaging is cuter. That's totally my opinion. I mean, obviously, but it is cuter. But Let's talk about the applicators. The Tarte applicator is a huge doe foot, which is kind of fun, but the Kat Von D one has this kind of more triangular, pyramid-shaped one that I really, really like. I like both, but I think I like the Kat Von D applicator better. So let's go ahead and get into the demo, and then we'll talk about these products as a whole and kind of read the claims that they have online and see if they live up to those claims. Okay, so I've got my Shape Tape and my Kat Von D. I'm going to do the Kat Von D on my right side here and the Tarte on the left, which might be opposite for you. But let's start with the Kat Von D. So I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender for both of these. I've realized with both of the formulas, it just works the best because they do, these do, oof, it's early in the morning, they do, these do have really high coverage and I think they look the best when they're, I don't wanna say sheared out, but kinda of sheared out so that they look a little more natural while still having all that coverage. I'm really not gonna put a lot on, I'm just gonna kinda of spread it out with my Beauty Blender. Definitely brightening. So it's definitely a brightening formula. You can instantly see when you compare them. This eye looks way less tired, <laughs> which is nice. You can still see my fine lines. Again, as I've said in past videos, I've never found a concealer where it just like magically hides fine lines. You know, that just doesn't happen. Um, but it certainly sunk into them, but I like to kind of use my finger or something to kind of see if I can get that to set on its own before setting it with the powder. So let's try the Shape Tape on the other side. When I did my Shape Tape, uh, it still might be too much. I put way too much on during that because it was still new to me and it was a lot. This still might be a little bit too much. Oh, that's not too bad. using the other side of this beauty blender if you're worried about them mixing. I'm sure you're very concerned. Okay, so of course I've got like little bags under my eyes because I really am, I woke up early today to try to film here and so I am a little tired. So looking at it, you can see, I mean I still have like little bags under my eyes which, you know, it is what it is, but you can definitely still see my fine lines with both. So I like to use the heat of my hand to kind of blend that in. But they both have pretty much the exact same coverage. Exact. Honestly, the days that I wear the Kat Von D versus the Tarte Shape Tape, I have, I, like if I had no recollection of what I'd use that day, I would never have known which it was because they both always look really good. They last all day. I'm talking all day. Um, they have the same amount of coverage. They're really comfortable to put on and blend, um, especially when you use less. <laughs> um, I think I like the applicator. I like that the Tarte Shape Tape is so big. It's just kind of fun. But I actually do like the applicator, the Kat Von D, how it's like a little pointed. It doesn't really matter because it's not like you're using these to blend. But 
if I were to pick between the two, I do like the packaging for the Kat Von D one a little bit better. So to see it up close, this is the side that had the Kat Von D and this is the side that had the, ooh, my eyes are red, girl. This is the side with the Tarte Shape Tape. So honestly, I'm like looking at it now, that's a birthmark by the way, if it freaks you out, sorry. Honestly, looking at it this way, I think I like the Kat Von D one just a little bit better. I think it, it's hard to tell. And like I said, I haven't set these. I just want you guys to see how they are just the way they are with no powder on them. Because a lot of powders can brighten it and then it kind of changes it. But I think I might like the Kat Von D one better. All right, so let's start with the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, on Ulta, the little blurb it says about it is that it's cruelty-free, gluten-free, and vegan. And it says, you sculpt and highlight as you mask imperfections with this two-in-one full coverage concealer. I totally agree. It's full coverage. Definitely. The, it's hydrating, long-wearing formula. Delivers natural, radiant coverage across all skin types. So you can instantly brighten and cover acne, dark circles, redness, while softening the look of pores and fine lines. Wear it one to two shades lighter or darker. Work it as a creamy highlight or contour. Light, blendable formula. Um, so... Uh, it says, powered by Amazonian clay and conditioning mango seed and shea butters, the nutrient-rich concealer helps promote skin elasticity and illumination with each crease-free application. I don't agree that it's crease-free, um, regardless of how much you use. I know in my original video, a lot of you guys were like, well, you use too much. I agree, I use too much. But as I've used this more and more, I still, it instantly goes into my fine lines. Even when I set it, it still does. That's my fine lines. I feel like mine are just crazy. I don't know. But I know that I'm not alone in that because a lot of you guys are like, yeah, I notice it creases too. Not enough that it bothers me. Every concealer I use does. So it's not, I've kind of just gotten used to that and kind of accepted that. So it doesn't bother me. But I don't agree that it's completely crease free. Um, so let's read the, but I do agree that it's um, very, I do think it's pretty hydrating. I don't think it like illuminates dry skin by any means. And it's certainly high coverage. It blends really well. Uh, let's look at the Kat Von D claims. This is on Sephora's site, the little blurb. Um, it says it's got 24 hour wear and instant full coverage. I agree. I don't know about 20, I don't think I've ever worn anything 24 hours. Okay, that can't be true. But that's not very often that you'd wear something like this for 24 hours. It says Locket Concealer Cream does everything a traditional concealer does and then some. It brightens the under eye area. I would agree with that. Covers blemishes, corrects discoloration, contours, and bakes. So again, you could get a darker shade if you wanted like a cream contour type shade. This next level formula applies smoothly and blends easily for a locked down, smooth, even finish. Wide array of sh uh, shades. Offers one of the most extensive shade ranges in concealer. That's probably true. Select the perfect eye under eye corrector and exact skin tone concealing shade with easy to navigate names that feature the undertone. And that's true. So the one I have is called L7 Warm, and it's it says Fair Buttercream with Warm Undertone, and I really think that's accurate. It's kind of the perfect shade. Uh, so it, it is a, almost a little bit easier to try online. Of course, I just looked up a bunch of swatches as well of both of these when I was ordering. The shade range even includes a pure white called Whiteout for dramatic highlighting and mixing into other shades to create custom tones. So it's got Complexion Brightening Pigments, Ultra Nourishing Hydra Boost, complex it's crease proof and hydrating again i don't agree that it's crease proof i think the kat von d1 creases a little bit less than the tarte shape tape but they're both i mean they're still going into your fine lines ideal for the delicate under eye area the the applicator was modeled after an artist's paintbrush with the tapered tip for precise corners and a wide base to efficiently coat larger areas i really do like the applicator on the kat von d1 just a little bit better so I would say both of these live up to the hype and the claims that they both have. It's kind of what's in your taste when it comes to maybe branding, packaging, if you wanna save $2 if you've got an Ulta gift card versus a Sephora one. I mean, it's kind of up to you. I think you can't go wrong either way. I do think I'm leaning as I really tried these side by side today. I've been filming, I've been looking at myself in the mirror. I really do think I'm leaning towards the Kat Von D one because of the shade range. I like the applicator a little bit better. I think it sinks into fine lines just a little bit less. They both have the same coverage. They're both easy to blend. So like I said, you can't go wrong either way, but I do think these are pretty close dupes for each other, which I think is just fun to find. Fortunately, I wish I had drugstore dupes for these. I haven't found drugstore dupes yet. If you know of one that you think might be, please let me know below. I know I'm not the only one that's curious. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching would rather save money and buy a cheaper one. Me too.
So hopefully this review was helpful for you. If you like these kinds of demo reviews, I do these a lot on my channel. I'll link my playlist below. You can kind of scroll through, see what products. I do a lot more drugstore typically, so if you're wanting to see some drugstore foundations, concealers, etc., definitely check out my playlist and find ones that interest you. I hope that you'll subscribe before you leave, and in the meantime, catch me on my social media, which is right up there, and come say hi to me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.